Oh, look, there's a gym teacher. Oh, look, there's the solicitor. <laughs> Do you know, quite a few years ago, we were all monkeys. Did you know that? I think your grandpa got a terrific memory. <laughs> you making fun of me. It's not kind. Can we go and see the elephants doing their business? All right. <laughs> Do you know, for some reason, he always wants to watch them doing their business. Actually, it can be quite impressive. Are you coming? Big business has always fascinated me. <laughs> I'm glad Simone let them come. At least she doesn't think I'm going to eat them. You haven't told her your latest wheeze. You mean living together? Shh. Some of those penguins might have relatives in Pinna. Alec, I'm not pushing you, but it's been three weeks now. You've got till four o'clock to decide. It's not that simple, Zoe. It's a big step. But you do want to. Well, I want to be with you, I, but when I was your age... Oh, Alec, if you ever say those words again, I will throw your best bits to the African lions. There's no other cutting off your nose to spray. Alec. <laughs> Relationships have to progress, or they just wither and die. Look at them. They live together. <laughs> yeah, but this is Regent's Park. It's more cosmopolitan. Here. Well, it depends. If you get an incontinent one, we could be through in five minutes. Am I rushing you? No, 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 no. I like elephants. I mean about us, Alec. Well, it's not just us, is it? I mean, there's Jamie, Simone, my mum. Your mum? Aye, and your mum, and your dad. Maybe we should have a referendum. <laughs> Alec. There isn't any other reason. No, no, no. I mean, what other reason could there be? Grandpa, I think that one's going to do something. Great! <laughs> You're going to see this. <laughs> say Scots when I'm romantic. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Flood. Good morning, Mr. Callender. Did you have a nice weekend? Oh, very quiet. And you? Oh, splendid. <laughs> I spent the whole of yesterday indulging my animal passions. Uh, I took my grandchildren to the zoo. <laughs> now, I must make some calls. Oh, uh, interrupt me if uh, Interpol need my help. <laughs> well, to be zero. Sorry. Sorry. What are you doing? Oh, morning, Miss Flood. Are you incognito? No, I was last night. <laughs> now I'm just hung over. What happened? Well, you know how me dad hates Derek? I thought I'd invite him round for tea so me dad could learn to like him. Doomed to disaster? Oh, no, Miss Flood. By seven o'clock, they were singing. I wasn't all. Well, you must be very happy then, Hilary. No, Miss Flood. Now me mum hates him. She said she ain't realised he was so like me dad. <laughs> That's why I've left home. What? To live with Derek? No. Derek lives with his mum. All me mates do. They all live with Derek's mother? <laughs> no. Pauline lives with her mum. Tracy lives with Hillary, her... Hilary, Hilary, where are you going to live? Oh. Well, you know how there's only you and your mum in that big house? <laughs> I was wondering. Can I ask a little favour? <laughs> all right, bye. Yep. Yeah. Can a client ask a solicitor to sue another solicitor for serious malpractice? Of course. Oh, great. See you in court, Mr. Callender. <laughs> Everyone a quiet smile. What's all this? Oh, uh, shh. I'm in plain clothes. <laughs> no, actually, uh, Catherine spilt hot goulash down my only suit. Nearly ruined my dumplings. <laughs> you young people, I tell you, you're all animals. You can talk, tiger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how was the zoo? Didn't Simone mind the kids seeing the aardvarks with no clothes on? 
Well, since you declared your intention of living with Catherine, the heat's gone off me. It's your morals she's questioning now. But everybody lives together these days. At least people my age do. And anyone would think I've been molesting sheep. If one of those sheep ever talks, you'll be in real trouble. Don't worry, I'll never give them my address. <laughs> oh, talking of sheep, Simone phoned. Tea on Sunday. She says she's got a surprise. Surprise? Maybe she's going to give us all a blessing. Don't hold your breath. Come on, I've got a client coming in. Oh, tomorrow night, drink in a video, eh? Great. I want to talk to you, man to slob. <laughs> if it's about those magazines you found, I just bought them for the book interviews. <laughs> Oh, and uh, smarten yourself up a bit. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> why is it whenever I bake a cake, you leap on that thing? Because gym teachers aren't supposed to waddle around like Miss Cholesterol in 1982. I remember when sex kept my weight down. <laughs> I used to look at those photos of Slimmer of the Year and think, oh, I know why you're smiling. <laughs> oh, God. I've got a will of blancmange. Give us some cake. This bit will do. <laughs> Zoe, you can tell me we're sisters. Is it, like, different with an older man? Well, there's more ropes and pulleys, of course. <laughs> and the oxygen mask's a bit of a nuisance. <laughs> I keep banging my elbows on the bath chair. <laughs> oh, God, Debbie, you're so bloody nosy. Only cos I care. No, it's because you're so bloody nosy. <laughs> well, you can wait for my memoirs. I lived with a grandpa, a gym teacher's grisly tail. What? He hasn't asked you to live with him. No. Oh, thank God for that. I asked him. <laughs> oh, well, what did he say? Oh, for God's sake, you live with Trev. Not so you'd notice. <laughs> We're part of a government bed-sharing scheme. <laughs> What will people say? I don't give a monkeys, and neither does Alec. Then why is he still thinking about it? I think I'll just leap on the calorie crunch. <laughs> Are you going to sell the flat, then? No, why should I? Well, you won't need it, will you, when you move into his gap? Oh, I mean, this is like pegging through a bowl of Irish stew. Debbie, <laughs> you won't be moving into his gap. So what's he going to do? Squeeze in here with you? <laughs> what's so funny? Oh, so it'd be like Prince Charles moving into Coronation Street. <laughs> no wonder he's not rushing. It's very nice. It's clean, it's tidy, there's no rats, no room to swing a rat. <laughs> and all these books. You've never had a bloke with books before. He hasn't even got a desk to work on. You know, Debbie, you're a very negative person. That's why you're so fat. <laughs> I'm glad we're having a serious discussion. Could have got personal. <laughs> Party down St Albans way. A marmite Sharon met a bloke called Terry Wright and she went all the way with him. <laughs> on the bus. Well, he'd been banned from driving. Anyway, Terry, I think I've heard this story before. About one o'clock this morning. Oh. Do you know, I thought you dropped off. <laughs> the pet shop boy's greatest hits must have woken me up. Yeah, your mum liked it, though, didn't she? I wish you'd tell me we should get them little earphones. Hilary, that's a hearing aid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder why she was still dancing after the music had stopped. <laughs> oh, dear, it's so late. Poor Mr Callender's on to his calls already. There's no coffee. Oh, don't worry, I'll make him an instant. He'll never know the difference. I'll have a black one, Hilary. Very, very black. Miss Nesbitt, I'm afraid you can't sue a man these days for breach of promise. No, but the law does allow you to keep the ring. Oh, it was off the top of a Coca-Cola can. <laughs> I see. Was there anything you gave him? <laughs> well, I don't think you've got much chance of getting that back. <laughs> No. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry I can't be of more help. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Here we are. Oh, I've forgotten the biscuit. Oh, don't worry, Hilary. Tell me, how are you and Miss Flood cohabiting? Oh, it's great, Mr Callender. All girls together. <laughs> Do you know, Miss Flood had never played free card brag. 
<laughs> you surprise me. I've won 15 quid. <laughs> and tonight I'm playing all my bross tapes. Oh. And then later on, Derek's coming round. Gosh, that sounds like a fun evening. <laughs> yeah, and then tomorrow night... Hillary. Mr Callender's got a client waiting for him. <laughs> oh. Didn't you have um, an errand you wanted Hillary to run? No, I don't think uh, I mentioned to you, Hilary, that uh, I need a new legal dictionary. <laughs> There's a good shop in... Watford. <laughs> in Watford. <clears throat> OK, Mr Callender. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Vera, I won't be long. <laughs> Thank you. What are friends for, Miss Flood? <laughs> Watford. <laughs> Thanks for being so good about Catherine, Dad. Most fathers would have gone berserk if there's someone wanted to move in with a girl. <laughs> I pride myself on having an open mind. And I hope I've brought you up to have the same. Fear not, stout Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does... <laughs> He'll laugh at the coincidence, but... <laughs> <laughs> what coincidence? Well, you'll never guess, but... I'm probably going to live with Zoe. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're right. I'm going to live with Zoe. We're going to live together. Well, probably. Uh, not tonight, of course. She, she's got some schoolwork, but... Get off! <laughs> what do you mean, get off? Well, blokes like you don't live with girls. <laughs> <laughs> what are we supposed to do with them, then? Well, you, uh... You know, you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're this articulate in court. Your opponents won't stand a chance. You've just uh, taken me by surprise, that's all. Dad, can you honestly see Zoe living here? I said I was going to live with Zoe. What? In her flat? T Dad, it's tiny. Well, what's Catherine got? A penthouse in Park Lane? <laughs> no, no, but we're just starting out. I mean, the direction you're going, and you'll be retiring in a shoebox. <laughs> Dad, the whole thing's ridiculous. You're a wee hypocrite, you know that? A Cambridge-educated hypocrite. Yeah, and you're an ageing Romeo. An ageing? <laughs> oh, I see. It's OK for chaps your age to shack up with someone, is it? But for chaps my age, we're supposed to pretend we don't do it anymore. Sex? What's that? Listen, laddie, just because I haven't been asked recently to do the centre-page spread in Playgirl doesn't mean I'm waiting for my Zimmer frame. <laughs> I was doing it before you were born, sonny boy. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> But not with girls half your age. What? Dad, I just don't want you making a fool of yourself, that's all. Of you, you mean? No! Yes! You're worse than Simone, you know. At least she's an honest prude. Dad, I didn't... Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll go where the air is fresher. You go and try your silver-tongued eloquence on Catherine. Maybe she'll appreciate it a bit more. Go and live with her, lover boy. Who the hell do you think? <laughs> what about the Wyoming Pizza House murders? Put type X screws into holes marked Y on the diagram. Well, I did that. They don't fit. <laughs> Compact desk and wall unit. Easy to fit, a joy to use. <laughs> Oh, made in Hungary. Figures. <laughs> they get us into a state of complete bewilderment, and then they attack. Right. <laughs> now, come on, Zoe, don't fret. Think of people than you have done this. Roy Morgan Jones built a commode for his mother. <laughs> meant to be chest of drawers. <laughs> oh, Alec, I hope you're bloody grateful for this. <laughs> seen from Brief Encounter, by the look of it. <laughs> this is my office. What are you doing here? And in your, uh... Oh! <laughs> I'm not, uh... interrupting something, am I? Mr. Callender! Oh, sorry. This 
sleeping bag is a single. I've had it since guide camp. <laughs> I came to escape from Hillary. Is it that awful? Oh, she's taken over, Mr. Callender. I had to sit through the Jason Donovan video four times. It's like Chinese torture. Do you mind if I sit down a moment? Oh, mind our bus not. Oh. He's not as young as he was. <laughs> Join the club. How's your mother? When I left, she was sitting up in bed with Hillary's personal stereo turned on full blast. I should think by now her head is somewhere over Essex. <laughs> oh, well, I came to think. My family think I'm mad, you know. Am I being foolish? I think you've looked happier this past few months than you have in a long, long time. <laughs> Does it show? It shows. <laughs> hey, there's a thought. Jamie's probably going to be away for some time. And I'm not going to be there. What, well, the house is going to be empty. Do you think you'd like... Oh, Hillary would love it! Uh... Oh, Mr. Callender! <laughs> Couldn't put that in writing. <laughs> yeah. Who's a clever boy, then? Eh? <laughs> but I bloody excuse it to pose my sorry boy on the diet it's a screwdriver when you've got a hammer. This will teach the Hungarians. You know, get the better of Zoe Angel. Take that and that, you Magyar. Oh, God. Why can't he work on the table? It's good enough for me. Well, he can take his ruddy compact desk and roll unit and shut <laughs> the Hungarians. <laughs> Surrender. Oh, no. What are you doing here? What? Well, oh, I no, thought... Oh, no, don't come in, Alec, please. What? Well, have you got someone in there? No, not someone. Something? Mrs Frankenstein, have you been cloning again? Oh, Alec. <laughs> Everything's gone wrong this evening. I suppose you might as well come in now you're here. You're managing to conceal your excitement very well. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, a, a sculpture or something? It's meant to be your desk. My what? I wanted to make the place nice for you, so you'd feel more like coming to live here. What, what's the place got to do with it? Well, that's what you've been holding back, isn't it? It's hardly a dream house. Oh, it depends what sort of dreams you have. I wanted it to be so right. I wanted it to be a place you could divorce people in. <laughs> <laughs> and look at it. It looks like a Hungarian privy. Oh. <laughs> Zoe, it doesn't matter. <laughs> now then. Put type X screws into hole Y. Mm-hmm. you have completed your unit, we hope you'll be pleased with it. <laughs> and that it gives you years of good service. <laughs> Zoe. Zoe. Oh, what? Have you fixed it? Yes. <laughs> Nearly. <clears throat> Oh, it is nice to have a man about the house. I could make it the <laughs> Oh, it's lovely. A few years ago, I built a bathroom cabinet. Two days later, it fell down and smashed through a toilet seat. So, I fitted a new toilet seat. No problem. <laughs> then I set about the bathroom cabinet. Don't tell me. You stood on the new toilet seat. Went right through it. <laughs> That's when I invented Galmi. Galmi? Mm -hmm. Get a little man in. <laughs> it never fails. 
I think you and I will be seeing quite a few little men in the years to come. What? Oh! Oh! Oh, Alec! Welcome to sin. I'm afraid it's not very exciting. Well, at least it's original. <laughs> anyway, I can't have you running around a big house. I might never be able to catch you. I'd have given you a head start. <laughs> Now all that remains is for us to break the good news to Simone. <laughs> what can she do? Ask God for a thunderbolt. <laughs> You're doing what? I'm moving in with Zoe, Simone. We're going to live together. But I'm a vicar's wife. <laughs> Look on the bright side. We're both Church of England. <laughs> no need to ask what you think. It's obviously hereditary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Simone. If two people love each other, what's wrong with that? I take it back. You're going to make a good lawyer. You change positions more often than Neil Kinnock. <laughs> you certainly know how to hurt a hypocrite, don't you? <laughs> Simone, everyone's entitled to a bit of happiness. I don't know where you get these mottos from, Zoe. Party crackers, I suppose. Well, Simone, that's it. Like it or lump it. So, where's your surprise? Oh, yes. Yes, it seems like just the right moment, doesn't it? I won't be long. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. It's hard to be a free thinker in Pinner. Must be the air. Does this mean you're going to help me in with my stuff? Yeah, as long as I don't have to shift your trust collection. <laughs> Mother! Grandma! Good Bennett. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I was having a sleep and I dreamt I was dead. Oh, it was like Sunday at Kilmarnock. <laughs> <laughs> have you grown, Alec, or have I shrunk again? <laughs> you look terrific, Mother. Uh, why didn't you let me know you were coming down? We wanted a surprise, didn't we, Grandma? Well, she wanted a surprise. I feel it's a bloody miracle, you know. I'm just hanging by a thread. A forged steel, Mother. Now, sit down. <laughs> Rest yourself a while. Yes, now, don't fuss. Don't Aye, fuss. Yeah, all right. 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 Oh, Jamie, have you torn your trousers? <laughs> oh, wait, and I'll sew them up for you. <laughs> it's the fashion, Grandma. <laughs> now, don't tell fibs. I'll give you 30 shillings and you go down to Oxfam. <laughs> oh, and who are you? What's your name? Is your hair really that colour? Uh, yes, I'm Zoe. Yeah, my mother left me out in the rain and it rusted. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one I've been telling you about, Grandma. The gym mistress. Have you ever thought of going into public relations? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mrs Callender. I'm very pleased to meet you. I'm not deaf, my dear. There's just one part of me that doesn't work too well and I'm sitting on it. <laughs> Your boyfriend, is he? Yes, he is. For my sins. She's just a child. Zoe's not a child, my love. Oh, Alec. She's younger than your daughter. Well, look at her years younger. Well, not that much younger. <laughs> I'm 27, pushing 30. Congratulations. Now, do I get a cup of tea, Simone? Or does holy water take longer to boil? <laughs> Come on through, Grandma. We've got lots to tell you, haven't we, Daddy? Aye, uh, lots. <clears throat> well, Grandma, a lot's been happening since we last saw you, hasn't it, Daddy? Aye. The pounds plummeted against the yen. <laughs> Manchester United switched to a 4-3-3 formation. <laughs> you know, they played Lady Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why don't you tell Grandma? What you told me just before she came downstairs. Why don't you tell her, Simone? You do it so beautifully. Grandma, Daddy and Zoe are going to live together in Zoe's flat. What do you think of that? Well, it's all right, but the nuts get under my plate. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean the cake, Grandma. I meant about Daddy and Zoe living together. Simone, that is underhand even for you. Do you know that? Alec, do you mind Sandy McNaughton? Sandy McNaughton? Ah, he was the man who lived upstairs in Diddy Road, wasn't he? Nice man. Well, you know, he passed away 
last October. Oh, he did. Oh. oh, he was a nice man. 65, wasn't he? 64. Ah. 16 years younger than me. Heavens, you don't look 80, Mrs. Calendar. Must be all the oats. Porridge. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's just what he said. Uh, Zoe, is it? Yes. You see, Zoe, Sandy McNaughton and me were more than what you might call good friends. <laughs> You had a toy boy, Grandma. <laughs> you never told me about that. <laughs> None of your business. Oh. That's telling him, Mrs. Callender. You're only a wee scrap, Zoe. But if you can keep him feeling half as alive as Sandy McNaughton kept me, you'll be doing me a grand service. I'll try, Mrs. Callender. Guy's honour. And I promise I'll be as kind to her as Sandy McNaughton was to you, Mother. <laughs> Do you have a nice place, Zoe? Well, it's not huge, but it has possibilities. Just the one bedroom? Yes. Ah, oh, well, that's all you'll be needing. <laughs> well, I think I'll just pop next door to the church and grab myself a choir boy. <laughs> Cheerio, Simone. Cheerio, Simone. I love your mum, Alan Calendar. <laughs> ah, she's one of the best. I mean, I feel it's a bloody miracle. <laughs> anyway, I think she's given us her blessing, bless her. Well, she can only do much else, what with old Sandy McNaughton. Did you really believe that, then? Yes, of course. Didn't you? <laughs> Sandy McNaughton was a Catholic priest. The most he ever gave her was a neighbourly wave. What? How Catholic? Very Catholic. So she said all that? To me. I rang her last week. She can't keep a secret to save her life. She knew Simone was up to something. We devil. And you went along with it. She also said that very few folk achieve happiness twice in their life. So she knows how lucky I am. What about you? You've got a granny. What are you going to tell her? Oh, she'll be pleased. She always wanted me to be a calendar girl. <laughs> Thank you. 